After seething for 15 years, this guy traveled all the way to Japan in search of a jar o trickster. But why? Who was he actually murderously mad at? We are well outside the polite spoiler window, but with streaming, people watch stuff at different times, so I'm going to warn you that this whole video is about a majorly fun spoiler from Teen Wolf the movie. If you haven't watched it yet, seriously, don't ruin this surprise for yourself. You don't know what you're doing! I've been searching for this for years. I know precisely what I'm doing. So, why is Shadowy Man all big mad? Mr. Stalinsky, if that's your idea of a hushed whisper, you might want to pull the headphones out every once in a while. Well, he spent many years as a public school teacher, so there's more than enough reason in that to become homicidal. But he is specifically mad at Scott McCall? Maybe? <laughs> I think you and Mr. McCall would benefit from a little distance, uh, yes? I mean, in the last few months before mean old Mr. Harris found himself bound to a tree, he'd been outed as an arson and murder accomplice and charged with multiple murders that were actually committed by this butthurt man-child and his lizard friend. You find the girl wearing that necklace. She's your arsonist. Murderer. Excuse me? Arson happens to property. This girl's a murderer. We brought Harris in this morning for questioning. And? And they're working on a warrant to arrest him for the murders. For all of them? The tire tracks put Harris at the site of three murders. That's damning evidence. Well, all these events followed immediately on Scott McCall becoming a werewolf, and he was indeed involved in both of those investigations, he did not directly mess with Harris except in school. Hey, what do you think you're doing? The hour's up. You're not leaving until every single one of these bubbles is filled in. There is only one somewhat tenuous link you can draw from Harris's tree-hugging directly to Scott. Deucalion came looking for Scott. I know he said Derek, but it was Scott he actually wanted all along. Jennifer was tracking the Alpha Pack, so it is Scott's fault, in a very tenuous way, that Jennifer came back to Beacon Hills. Well, I don't want an apology, seeing as how you ruined my life, and you served me up as a human sacrifice to some demented druid. Again, Adrian says this, and he may actually believe it, but it's not really their fault. Hey. And you already know what I want. You want retribution against him. What I think we have here is some projection, not just on the part of Adrian Harris, but also on the part of the Nogitsune. Now, Scott is its primary target after all the trouble the team caused for it back in the day. So when Harris shows up in Japan with his head all full of vague revenge fantasies, it's the Nogitsune that convinces him that Scott is the one to torture for retribution because that's who the Nogitsune really wants to play with. 